Hello students! Welcome to another lesson of Art and Design. Today, we will look at a very interesting aspect of color theory called tonal gradation. In this lesson, you will learn about the process of color mixing to create tones on an object. For this activity, you will require the following materials. A palette, watercolour with one U of your choice, black and white paints, a pointed paint brush, number 5 will be appropriate, and water container. Step 1. Observe the light source on the object. You will notice that here light is projecting on the right hand side of the cylindrical object. Now observe the light on the top ellipse. Light is present from the reverse side, that is from the left to the right hand side. Step 2. On an A4 paper, draw the cylinder and divide it equally in odd number order. On this drawing, the ellipse has been divided into five equal parts and the cylinder into seven equal parts. Step 3. Once the value scale has been divided, select any color from your paint box and paint the middle grids. Step 4. Add white to the U to produce tints and gradually paint the grids according to the ray of light. Step 5. Add a little of black paint to the U and gradually increase the amount of black to obtain shades. Fill in the grids progressively from the right to the left. Step 6. Complete the top ellipse according to the light source observed. Here is the final result. Artists use a variety of methods to create gradation depending upon the art medium and the precise desired effect. An example here is Paul Klee's crystal gradation. Jean-Baptiste Chardin, one of the greatest still life painters of his time, strove for an overall unified effect of tone color and form in his artworks. This still life reveals itself slowly with the objects gradually emerging from the tone background. This beautiful artwork of Tiffany Bird perfectly displays the gradation of colors with the light source coming from the left hand side. An amazing hibiscus close-up of Nancy Hudson Miller depicts feelings of color and appreciation of light. Tonal gradation can be represented in other art forms also. An example here is the self-portrait of Pablo Picasso. Melissa McKinnon displayed different shades of greens on her landscape painting. Another example is the Starry Night in Dublin by John Nolan depicting the transition from one hue to the other. Tones can be used to enhance design elements to stand out by contrast. However, 
It can also blend elements together to achieve unity in an artwork. Here, a monochromatic shades of blue has been interpreted on a book cover design. This vibrant illustration of a lion integrates perfectly in published media such as posters, flyers, magazines or books. Tonal gradation can also be interpreted on a logo design. Here, the different values of blue have been used. It can also be interpreted in poster design. The famous Irish poet Oscar Wilde rightly pointed out, I quote, mere colour can speak to the soul in a thousand different ways, end quote. Dear students, we have reached the end of our lesson. Hope you have enjoyed it. Appreciate colours around you and enjoy painting with different shades. Keep on practicing. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.